monster snakes and turtles, deadly dragons and dinosaurs, here are 11 of the weirdest reptilian cryptids. Joshua Lewis, thanks for your kind comments. You're obviously a wise fella, so we appreciate the great support. Be sure and tell us what you think of these reptilian cryptids. Yakumama. This creature from South America is found in the folklore of indigenous peoples there. It's described as a sea monster that measures more than 100 feet long and guards the mouth of the Amazon River, in addition to other lagoons. According to legend, this is the mother of all aquatic creatures and would attack any living thing that ventured within its territory. By some accounts, this monster is described as a giant anaconda, or the Minyo cow, which is coming up on the list. Kumi lizard. You might call this creature the New Zealand version of Australia's Megalania lizard, which went extinct around 50,000 years ago. But the Kumi lizard was described as being an arboreal lizard. That is, it lived in the trees. Initial reports stemmed from the mid-19th century, when one of the creatures was sighted by a Maori bushman. He described it as measuring about 1.5 meters long. That seemed to corroborate stories of large, arboreal lizards living in the region. Reports of the creature are scarce, and the last sighting we found was reported way back in 1898, when it was described as resembling a type of monitor lizard. Cryptozoologists have suggested that the creature may have been a variant of the crocodile monitor. That's a lizard native to New Guinea that can reach lengths from 8 to 12 feet, and they're known to live part of their lives in trees. Arabur. Its name means Arab snake and is said to live close to the Arabian Sea. Reports indicate it's quite hostile and has leathery bat-like wings it uses to fly. But some experts actually take issue with that, saying that the creature doesn't achieve true flight. Rather, the snake actually glides through the air by using a flap or an arboreal specialization on its spine. Hey, did you know there's a species of snake found in Southeast Asia that can fly? It can create a type of pseudo-wing with its body that enables it to actually glide through the air. Dragons Usually possessing reptilian traits, dragons are found in the myths of many cultures around the world. The creature is recognized throughout China and various countries in Southeast Asia. The Chinese dragon is often depicted as snake-like, with four legs and covered with scaly skin. As opposed to European dragons, the Chinese variety often has no wings, yet they can fly and breathe fire. When cryptozoologists investigate reports of these creatures, they'll often consider the land-based variety of dragon. They're often thought to be enormous lizards or even living dinosaurs. Reports concerning flying dragons are categorized as those with wings and those without. Wingless dragons are often ignored. While they can be investigated as giant bats, Asian dragons with wings are more often investigated as pterosaurs, the prehistoric flying reptiles. Could be a connection between dragons and pterosaurs, or some other creature. Thetis Lake Monster. There were four teenage eyewitnesses who claimed to see this monster on Vancouver Island in Canada in 1972. According to the boys, the creature chased them from the beach. They described it as standing about five feet tall and resembling a human-lizard hybrid. Their report stated that it had a large head covered in barbed spikes and webbed toes and fingers. Its skin was scaly with a silver-blue coloration. Many people thought that the description sounded similar to that of the Gill Man from the Creature from the Black Lagoon. Similar creatures had been reported in states including Ohio, Delaware, and North Carolina for at least a century. In this case, a possible solution might have been provided by a man who reported his pet Tegu lizard had been lost in the area. Those animals can grow are around four feet long and are often kept as pets. That solution was dismissed, however. We couldn't find any additional sightings of the creature reported, so it seems as if the mystery of this monster will remain unsolved. Beast of Busco. The name Beast of Busco refers to the town of Truabusco, Indiana, where it was first reported all the way back in 1898. A farmer claimed to see a huge snapping turtle living in a seven-acre lake on his property near the town. After telling some neighbors about the creature, he apparently decided to simply leave it be. But in 1948, two citizens reported seeing the giant turtle in the same lake and estimated its weight at around 500 pounds. Stories of the turtle spread and attracted national headlines, as well as mobs of curious sightseers. Several attempts were made to locate the creature, including dispatching deep sea divers into the lake, as well as draining it. But the creature, nicknamed Oscar after the lake's original owner, was never found. That led many skeptics to question if the creature was truly ever sighted at all. What do you think? Minyo Cow. The jury's still out regarding exactly what this creature might be. Some sources claim it could be anything from an enormous earthworm to a gigantic Sicilian, or a type of amphibian. But just as many sources have described it as a huge serpent. So we'll claim it as a reptile for this list. 
Whatever its species, it's been reported in the forests of Central and South America, apparently for quite some time. Carvings and paintings of a man-eating serpent made by the ancient Mayans are thought to depict this creature. Eyewitness accounts claim it measures up to 50 meters long and is covered with black, scaly skin. Its massive teeth enable it to burrow underground, where it's said to live in caves beneath the jungle floor. Some cryptozoologists think it may yet exist there and speculate that the creature could actually be a descendant of Titanoboa. That giant snake is thought to have gone extinct around 60 million years ago, and its fossils have been found in present-day northern Colombia. Nabo. The Nabo is found in Borneo, and is said to be a huge python-like serpent that has a head that's dragon-like with seven nostrils. Tribes in Borneo have described it as extending more than 100 feet long. In certain folk tales, it's considered a god that possesses incredible powers. It has the ability to transform itself into the shapes of various animals, and the creature can be beneficial to humans. A person can gain incredible strength from its scales, and even simply seeing the creature is said to bestow great fortune. That being the case, there was plenty of good fortune spread around in 2009. That's when an enormous snake-like critter in the Bala River was spotted by a relief worker who was monitoring flooded regions. Locals apparently corroborated the relief worker's story and claimed the creature showed up in a different part of the river as well. So, do you think it was really the Nabo? Scape or Lizard Man This cryptid is described as a reptilian creature standing about 7 feet tall and lives in the Scrape or Swamp. That's near the farming town of Bishopville in South Carolina. The Swamp Thing was first spotted in the 1980s, but the legend really began in 1988 when a teenager claimed he was charged by a tall, scaly monster that clawed his car. A plaster cast of the creature's three-toed footprint was taken that year as well. It was said to measure around 14 inches long, and experts claimed it was officially unclassifiable. Additional reported attacks and sightings of the creature prompted hunters to go searching for it, and a local radio station even offered a $1 million reward for its live capture. Most eyewitness accounts agreed that the creature had green, scaly skin, hands with three webbed fingers, and eyes that glowed either bright, orange, or red. While some cryptozoologists theorized this thing could have been some form of living dinosaur, no conclusions were ever reached about what exactly it was. But if you're really curious, it seems the lizard man has his very own Twitter account, so maybe you can ask him for yourself. Giant serpents. Chances are when you see a picture like this, you think, all right, that's gotta be a Photoshop creation or a scene from a movie, or you might think it's an authentic picture of an actual cryptid. We'll trust you to use your own judgment. At any rate, the picture does serve as a reminder that reports of giant snakes have persisted for ages. Some examples are Sucuriju giganti in South America, which is said to measure more than 40 feet long. That just about puts it in Titanoboa territory. That legendary prehistoric snake had a length estimated at upwards of 50 feet. Gigantophis. That reptile could grow more than 30 feet long and lived more than 34 million years ago. But unverified sightings of snakes measuring up to around 150 feet have also been claimed. That would include the Nabo, which also made our list. For the record, the world's longest extant snake and reptile is actually the reticulated python, with lengths that can exceed 20 feet. 